Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the mayors of Perry County, Tennessee, Linden, Tennessee, and Lobelville, my name is Will Nunley, and I am so excited to welcome you to the 16th Annual Blooming Arts Festival. I'm with our local radio station here, 1013 WOPC. We have a lot of great organizations that have come together to help make this event possible, and we're going to thank some of them here over the next few minutes. But we are racing to beat some rain as we have some light showers in the area, so we wanted to go ahead and get started a little earlier. At this time, the veterans of Perry County and all of us here invite you to please remove your hats, direct your attention towards the flag here at the courthouse lawn, and Kathy Dumont with the Commodore Hotel will be leading our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air came Still there, oh say does that star-spangled banner 
Kathy Dumont, thank you so much. What an amazing, wonderful job. Now please stand remaining with us here this morning as we have a word of prayer. All oh, bow our heads. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for allowing us to participate and have one more bloom in our festival. We want to pray for all the people that's participating in the festival for today, Father. We want, to, we want to pray for the young ladies this here, Miss Perry County and Miss Blooming Arts and all the young ladies that's come to participate today. We pray that everything goes well today, Father. We want to pray for a safe journey home as people travel today, Father. We just want to pray for a blessed day. We ask these and all blessing your son, Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. We appreciate and thank our Perry County veterans for being with us each and every year for your ongoing service to our community. Thank you for being here today with us and being a part of our opening ceremony. And thank you. Um, I know that we are racing against some rain, so I will make this as quick as possible. But there are so many different people and so many different groups that uh, go into making this great event happen every year. We can't thank them enough, so I'm going to do my best to thank a few of them. And that is, of course, the town of Linden and all the employees and our mayor, Mr. Wes Ward, who's over here standing right under the one way sign. Thank you, Mayor Ward, and all of the work that his crew does throughout the year. I want to acknowledge Haley Bird, for those of you that can see her here in the tie-dye t-shirt. She's standing up front here. Haley Bird is executive director of the Blooming Arts Festival, does a fantastic job, does this day and night, has led this effort for years and years and years. This is an incredible contribution that she makes uh, that is very unique to her, the Commodore Hotel. You see Michael Dumont there standing next to her. You met his wife, Kathy, just a moment ago, sang the national anthem. They are the fabric of this festival. You see Allison Dickey up front here holding a camera. She is our executive director of the Perry County Chamber of Commerce. She helps to lead the effort in spreading the message about all the events, not only this event, but everything that happens throughout the year, keeping in touch with our local businesses, helping to plan and make all of this possible as well. We have so many great businesses that have kind of sacrificed some store frontage space today so that we could accommodate all of these great guests. We have quality building supply that has uh, helped to support the festival this year. I'm standing on the Summertown Metals music stage. And we like to thank all of these businesses that sacrifice, that contribute, uh, not only to this event, but to events throughout the year to make this special. We welcome all of you who are streaming along and watching us on our Facebook pages today, and YouTube and Twitter, wherever you may be watching. Uh, we're glad that you're here, and we hope that you can come here in person tomorrow. I know that we have some gray skies to deal with today, but we're gonna have a great weather situation tomorrow. And uh, no doubt, it's going to be uh, wonderful. I think we're going to try to squeeze in some music. But before we do that, uh, Beth, would you join me on stage? I can read lips. I know what you just said. <laughs> Beth Bates, everybody. And ladies, if you want to come on up as well, because she's going to be introducing you. Is the Miss Blooming Arts Festival, is that new this year, or did we do that last year? This is our third year. Okay. So, okay. I knew that. I was testing your knowledge. <laughs> All right, so what I would like for you to do is introduce each of these lovely ladies that we have, tell us the pageants and the organizations they represent, and uh, what they're here to do today. So we brought back um, the Miss Perry County organization. Um, the first pageant we had was back in 2019 or 2020. Either one. Anyway, so um, that is a local preliminary to the Miss Tennessee and then to Miss America. So our 2024, I'm gonna let them introduce themselves, but um, is Miss Autumn Joe. but then our Miss Bloomin' Arts, that is um, a fundraiser pageant that we have for the Miss Perry County organization. And I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. We're so happy that they're here. They'll be walking around, take pictures with them, interact with them, because you can tell us what you're gonna be doing. So here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Awesome, thank you. Hi everybody. 
everybody. My name is Autumn Jo Sanderson, and I am Miss Perry County 2024. A couple things about me. I am a respiratory therapy student right now, but I do have two degrees in communication, so I love to talk. So if I haven't met you yet, please come up to me. I'd love to meet you and chat your ear off. Um, I'm also a big child advocate, a big part of being a title holder in the Miss America and Miss Tennessee organizations is that every title holder has their own community service initiative. And mine deals with building children up to be confident and healthy, safe individuals so that we can protect our kids and protect our communities, much like the Perry County community. Um, this summer, I will have the honor of going and competing on the Miss Tennessee stage. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm hoping to bring that state crown back to Perry County. Woo! Hi everyone, my name is London Haynes and I am your Miss Perry County's team. Um, one of the most important things to me when it comes to Miss Perry County, I mean, Miss, when it comes to Perry County, sorry, I just, I'm used to saying the title all the time. When it comes to Perry County, it's really connecting with everyone and one of the ways I do that is by going to the schools and communities in Tennessee with my CSI, Community Service Initiative, First Class Etiquette. And I believe it is so important to really educate people on how important it is to present yourself properly and how important it is to hold yourself to excellent standards so that we can all connect with one, and one another in a way where we all get along. Um, a couple of fun facts about me is that I am a second lieutenant in ROTC, so that amazing song that she sang, it touched my heart. She sounded amazing. I need to get to know her better. Um, but yeah, I'm really connected with my community and I'm so excited to further get to know you guys. Thank you guys so much. Hello everyone, I'm Maddie Rott and I'm your current 2024 Bloomin' Arts and I am 17 years old. I am a current high school senior here in Linden. Okay. Um, I am. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so excited to be here. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here and <laughs> nervous. So. Everybody did great. Okay, hello. All right, mic check. Sorry, I'm louder than the our soft-spoken young ladies. You did great. We're so excited to have all of you here. Thank you, thank you. and thank you for your wonderful representation of our community, Weston. Do you want to come up and, and deliver any greetings on, on behalf of you and your team? I'd like to give you the chance. We also have lots of dignitaries. A festival is a great chance for politicking, okay? So you're going to probably see a politician or two walking around here over the next uh, next couple of days, but that's all right. Weston. Hey, y'all. This is Weston Watts here on behalf of Congressman Mark Green, who is the chairman of the U.S. House Homeland Security Committee. I want to send regards today as Congressman Green is out of town right now, but this is something that has really grown over the last few years here in Linden, and it is so important to celebrate the creative arts that you see here today. My own mother is an art teacher through elementary through eighth grade, and she taught me the importance of how much it is to foster creativity. And I want to encourage you all today Get out there and support these vendors. They're the small businesses that make the backbone of the American economy. Get out here, support them, buy their items that they have today, whether it be food or it be crafts or it be necklaces or jewelry or whatever it may be. Make sure that you get out there and spend your dollars with these folks because they're here today to make it happen, okay? Y'all have a blessed rest of your day, and thank you all for being here, okay? Thank you. Weston, also a business owner. You can see his great theaters around Tennessee. We appreciate you uh, representing the congressman here today. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to keep going. I think uh, we have Kiefer waiting in the wings. You over here? Who can forget a name like Kiefer Wiley? This is his first time here, by the way. He's going to be performing for us in just a moment. Come on up. We want to get you started because I... People don't want to hear me talk anymore. They hear enough of that already. Uh, but for those of you streaming along with us right now, you can stay with us. We're going to try to hang on. And as long as the rain doesn't come down and the battery holds out, we'll keep uh, streaming along with you today. Kiefer is fantastic. Are you playing tonight at the hotel? Did I, I am, yes. Six to nine at the hotel. All right. So if you like what you hear right now, especially if the set gets cut short for any reason, uh, do join him here at the hotel tonight as well, uh, which is always a great gathering spot pretty much any Friday night for live dinner or live dinner, live music and live dinner. 
uh, at the Commodore Hotel and Cafe. All right, so we're going to give him a second to get set up. I appreciate everybody that can hear the sound of my voice that came here today for the Blooming Arts Festival. Hang with us, vendors. We're going to get through the rain today, and tomorrow's going to be wide open. And everybody, be sure to uh, send a text to your friends and family. Take a picture of our main street. Let them know where you are today and invite them to come back tomorrow because we're going to have a full, full day for you as well tomorrow. Talk to you soon. shirt for it and I might not get the opportunity later so I'm gonna play some beach music. The sun tan toes tickling the sand a cold drink chilling in my right hand watching you sleep in the evening light resting up for the long long night cause when the sun goes down we'll be grooving when the sun goes down Feeling all right when the sun sinks down a little Everything gets hotter when the sun goes down yeah. All day long just taking it easy Laying in the hammock where it's nice and breezy Sleeping off the night before is when the sun goes down. We'll be back more when the sun goes down. We'll be moving when the sun goes down. Feeling alright when the sun sinks down. Everything gets hotter. Ha!
brighter when the sun goes down. Ooh, thank you very much. Oh, this is my first time playing the Blooming Arts Festival. I'm really happy to be here. And so far the rain is staying at bay, which is nice. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep that going. Can I get just a touch less guitar in my monitor and that'd be perfect, thanks. over there. Thank you. By the way, y'all, I'm used to doing request shows, so if anybody wants to hear something in particular, an artist, a song, a genre, an awkward moment that you had in grade school, let me know. I'll turn it into a song for you. I'm on a roll here with these rain-themed songs, though. So. Future mother in law. 
vocal in the monitor if that's possible. Checkity one, two, three. Woo! Checkity, 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 chick. Chick, 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 chick. Check. Uh, can you get a little more? Just a little bit more in there. Ooh, that's nice right there. Thanks, y'all. Also, turn the auto-tune way up on this one.
by request. Requested by me. My name is Kiefer Wiley. It's like Kiefer Sutherland, except he spells it wrong. It should be K-E-I-F-E-R-W-I-L-E-Y. And in addition to playing all of your favorite songs and more, I also write music. And uh, this is a song that I wrote for an artist by the name of Taylor Borton. And uh, she's almost done recording it, so I hope it comes out someday. But it seemed appropriate to play on today, uh, to play today, as uh, it's a, a song about blaming decisions on the weather, and uh, it has rain in the title. So we're gonna keep singing rain songs, and hopefully that keeps the rain at bay. Ironically, it's working so far. So. <laughs> 